Um, get a Friday edition. Spotted. Wind 23810, caution light turbulence, cross bar towards the heavy 767. Wind 23010, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 19 right, 923. Tampa International. Blustery winds out of the southwest. Lots of clouds around. I haven't seen any rain yet, but it's uh, very humid. All right, enough of the weather report. Have a great weekend, and let's get right into the aviation action. Thanks for being here. Oh, we got a race on our hands. Airbus A321. Versus the ATR. Who's going to go first? What do you think? Oh, man, I think my lens is all fogged up. I think it's inside my lens cap. What's going on here? What the heck? <laughs> oh, what I see in the LCD screen. Maybe the screen's fogged up. It's like it's as foggy as all get out. Oh, I think that should be more better. More better? Uh, I purposely came up here because we've got a bunch of inbound. You can't see them from the other end. Automobiles and heavy construction equipment. Sixteen sixty-two. Sixteen sixty-two to the frozen tundra of Antarctica, AK. Minneapolis, St. Paul. change going from uh, Singapore business to uh, a 7-3 first class on Delta. Yeah, if you haven't been around lately, 692 Heavy is pretty much a 767 these days, not a MD-11. Sad, sad, sad day. As they retire those MD-11s, both FedEx and UPS. Ooh, speaking of 767s, 
Check this out, kids, with the winglets. UPS. Yep, and that used to be an MD-11 right there as well. Bah humbug. I want my money back. Wait a minute, I didn't pay anything. Seven three seven from UA. Could this be a wall of shame candidate? I'm thinking it is. It's almost a sure bet they're going to be in the wall of shame. Ultra low performance takeoff setting. This makes for a long takeoff rolls, as we like to call it, a barbecue special, low and slow, where the hell are they? <laughs> oh jeez, Steven, don't try this at all. I am a trade professional, oh jeez. 2398, see you later. You know this one by heart. You're probably going to say what I'm thinking already. Oh, yeah, it's the latte, the coffee shop special. The long, 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 nonstop. Pacific Northwest Seattle Tacoma International Airport. This 7.6 is almost dragging on the ground, doesn't it? I think it's the, the way that paint job transitions to brown in the back. Makes it look a little droopy back there. I'm sure where, our, where I uh, transition to the back, I look a little droopy too. Oh, that's a bad visual. TMI, Stephen, TMI. Whoa! Holy shit. 
tonight. He's, you know, I thought I saw the world record like two weeks ago. This may be a new world record. Holy crapola. Did you see that? No, I'm not looking at the video. Of course I saw it. That was wild. Woo! That must be light as a feather. Oh. The wind was a little blustery. Wow, where'd that wind come from? 11.30 to St. Louis. Winds are now 240 M18. Wow, the boss is at the doctor's office today doing something that's real important, ladies. That's having her annual mammogram. I'm sure if she was here, she'd remind everybody how important that is to have. Now, plus 11 30, contact the parts to have a good Oh, look at that. See that gust? Get him. A little rocking on a rolling over the numbers. I was gonna say, they're right past Whiskey 4. That would have been some turn. Been fun to watch. Some wings! Way down there. 82! This should be a relatively quick takeoff as well. With this ATR 42. Side to side action there, kids. Tom Seagraves, Alan Pitchow, Mike Perdomo, and Tom Lehman. Is that Tom, the famous golfer? 
<laughs> Big thanks to Tom, Alan, Mike, and Tom. Appreciate you supporting the channel. And if you'd like to support the, this channel, like these fine individuals all have, please check out the Super Thanks Icon. Back we go to the aviation action. United 1663, UNSLA 19 right, lining the wave, traffic going to 8 mile final. Well, as AA gets ready to rocket out of 19er right, we got a birthday today here on the channel. Happy birthday to Eastong. I hope I'm saying that right. E A A S T O N G, Eastong. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear East Dong. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Ha ah, Did you hear that? Guess who's not ready? Guess who's not ready? United! Gold figure. Sky. They're fighting that wind a little bit. Yep. America 1306, contact the park, driving today. Detroit for thirty three forty five spare in the sky. any better I just put on my road external mic with a dead cat now it's hard to hold the camera still <laughs> whoa that was close oh, I'm gonna have to review that one when I get home on the big screen Did that nip it or not This chocolate, the moose? One of our horny buddies? Uh, negative, Stephen. That's not a moose. 
<laughs> oh, that wasn't even close. Forget what this guy's called. He looks like a raccoon kind of thing. Koala bear slash raccoon. Not chocolate the moose look free. <laughs> Oh, I better go to the optometrist. How does that look like a moose? We'll see you when I tell you we're going to see you. on this plane. This is Delta's 1228-757 rocket ship service from ATL. <laughs> busiest aircraft. Busiest aircraft? The <laughs> busiest airport. The last Hartwell Jackson Manor International Airport. Somebody's asking if I did the, uh, all the voice was voiceover after the fact. And now I'm doing this the voice live as I'm filming this stuff. Somebody coming <laughs> to sunny Florida today. Gonna get off the plane and say, What the hell? Yeah, rock and roll it. Okay with that? I agree. Three and a two. Well, I was hoping they were getting close to being done, but it looks like they're doing a lot more work out there in the new taxiway. Hmm. It's over on the east side. Hey, that's an A300 over there. Oh, it doesn't look like anything's happening around it. It would be nice to see that take off. Oh, you can see some of the rides in the background there. That's Bush Gardens out there. Roller Coaster City. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Well, it's JetBlue. Makes its way up and over the Juliet Bridge. 
Have you looked at the new, uh, what the new planes are going to look like? The new paint job? The new livery? What do you think? I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's going to photograph very well. A lot better than the white does. Yeah, there's Swift Airs over there. UA 1663 to Newark. EWR. Oh, geez. Oh, crap. They're still on the ground. There they go. In the trees. And in a parking garage. Through the elevator shafts. Through the street signs. Through another elevator shaft. Holy crap, they're hitting everything. Well, if you're trying to hit everything, they mission accomplished. Another barbecue special, low and slow. Boom! Wind feels good, though. Maybe buffeting me around. Sure feels good. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for 385. I don't know why I say that. It reminds me of the movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. Punxsutawney Phil. AA, which is 863 Quebec, 863Q. Is this a relocation? They're sure up there like there's nobody on there. Somebody out there has got to know. We have about a bazillion really sharp viewer of viewers out there. What's the Q stand for? Hey, we got a Hawker Beechcraft. Runway 28 takeoff. Line up and wait. Raggy Man High, Colorado Pike, our otter buddy. One of the cutest uh, frontier liveries there is. Chilling. Gonna eat some abalone on the way over to Denver.
Made a little move here. Got to listen to David Lee Roth, California Girl. Oh, here's one for you. Van Halen. David Lee Roth or Sammy Hagar? Which was your favorite? Or I guess you could say, what was the other guy? Gary Sharon or whatever? <laughs> Who was your favorite front man, lead singer for Van Halen? How did I get onto music now? Two oh six PHX. That's Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Some cool videos from uh, from Sky Harbor with the uh, downtown in the background, unlike the fence in the foreground here. What the heck did I do? I'm trying to get out of the wind, and I moved someplace where I shouldn't have. Mitsubishi. Look at this. Lined up on 2 8. Velo! Our purple people eater, Velo, is getting ready to land on 1 9 or right. 600, runway 2 8, clear to take off. Oh, a really short flight for our Mitsubishi. They're headed to ORL, Orlando. Not MCO, I think ORL is Orlando Executive. They're going to go rocketing right past us here with this 2-8 takeoff. I'm sure ground's going to turn them north and west here. Excuse me, north and east. Wow, a youngin'. 1743 757 rocket ship service to ATL. Airport. 18 years old. That's like a newbie. Happy camper when uh, that east side reopens and we get more options, and in particular some northern ops, which are my favorite. I'm getting up close and personal. One right, do smoke it up. We had a wind pushing it left. Look into my eyes. You're getting sleepy, very sleepy. Gang, tie a ribbon around it. That's a wrap. That's going to conclude. The Friday edition of Spotting Tampa International. Yeah, working for the weekend. It's here.
Hope you're enjoying yourself. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hope you'll take a moment, smash that subscribe button, like, share, and hit the notification bell as we upload daily. Oh yeah, you get to do this each and every day. What could be better? If you'd like to support the channel, please check out the Super Thanks icon. It helps tremendously. And as always, we'll see you again tomorrow on another edition of Spotting Tampa International. And next week, we'll be at the Mouse's house for a day. MCO.